Hey everybody, it's time for War Tales. Combat stories. All right now, get the heck out of here. Poems. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Yeah, we've got it. We got a problem. We're, we're in a fight that we really don't want to be in. <clears throat> uh, we're trying to transport a dignitary, a noble, a annoying pain in my backside, uh, to the guardhouse. Unfortunately, all the people want him dead. Camera. I knew it. There you go, it's fixed. And when we say people, we mean civilians. We mean a city. We mean people we don't necessarily want to kill. I mean, don't we? No, they're not. They're not civilians. They're just very naughty boys and girls. Um, <clears throat> okay. The people are revolting. Yeah, damn right. They stink on ice. Okay. Uh, where are we running to? There. Okay. So reinforcements incoming in three rounds. Um, this guy we have to keep alive. Unfortunately. I think we might be losing some wolves and things on this one. Yeah, and we've just got them. I know. <laughs> Don't know where that one is. Oh, it's there. Oh, so they're going... To, yeah, they're both going. Then you're going, so we really need to kill you soon. Then you. Then you. Well... This all sucks, doesn't it? Um, 38, 118. <clears throat> this is not good. Um, we are not going to be able to take out all these people and protect him. But we know they're going to be going for him, not our people. Yeah. But... Uh, fives, move. Now, we can restart this fight as often as we like. Everything's fine. Yes. We'd rather not do it the whole evening. Yeah. But if we have to, we will. Yes, if we have to. We have no problems doing that. All right, you are next. Okay, that worked. You are next. You're probably going to go after that one. That's fine. Then you. Okay. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to do this. Because we've got the three archers over here. Where are my archers? Only British people get that. Uh, not all of them, in fact. And not all of them. Um, let's move you to there. next you're next okay a river on river on beautiful okay 
Okay. You're next. Do I put down the spike trap? No. No, I don't. Uh, you're going to go next? Okay. That is really not good for us. Uh, that is the most direct route, but I think what we're going to have to do is go around. kind of put all our forces in one big group and fight through the masses i think so sort of as a keep the fancy dude surrounded by fanatical m bad donkeys well by us a bunch of fanatical bad donkeys okay You gonna attack? No, okay. That is not the thing you wanna do. You don't wanna poke the bear. Literally poking the bear. No, the bear gets real angry. Yeah. Bear grills get angry. No, sorry, I can't. Oh, I Lord. was trying. I was trying. It was terrible, I know. Um Didn't kill it, but did a lot of damage. <coughs> Won't be able to get both of them. We're all there. They're too far spaced apart. Yep. Big swings. But you... You know the two to the right? Too late. I'm going to leave that one. We're going to move you there. What? You're a few seconds behind, Red. I know. I was thinking the two that you're looking at now. Yeah. Whether they were... No. Okay. They've literally spaced them far enough apart that it's going to make it impossible to hit anything. Um, okay. Let's run you up there. I am going to do nothing. You should die. Okay, maybe not. All right, who's next? You, you're going to have to chase up or come round. And you. Okay. The thing is, I've got a feeling Racket's going to take a hit, and I don't really want Racket to take a hit. 
No armor. Mm -hmm. I know I've got that person there, but... I'm going to give you that. Evasion. Okay. You are going that way. Fair enough. It's not ideal, but it will work. work. Oh, you're going after him. Or her. Is it her? I don't know. I can't remember. We've never taken the helmets off. I can't remember either. <laughs> them. You're moving next. Then it's you. Okay, so I definitely need to put Avig on. So you're moving next. Then you're getting an attack. Okay. Not ideal. Um. Nice stab, Red. I'm good at stabbing. You are good at stabbing. Basically, if anyone goes through there, our archers should be able to take care of something. Uh, Mighty Dragon. Yeah, go for it. Oh. That's fine. Armor's holding. aren't hard it's just numbers yes and they're about to get reinforcements exactly and I still haven't dealt with this group here which is a problem I need to deal with that group so I can get the what's his face through the ambassador yeah the thingy magic the guy from the Mean place. Yep. Right. Okay, you're going after Wolven. That's almost as insane as taking on a bear. Okay, we've got that, so I'm going to see how far... I can't get far enough, but that's fine. But we can get closer. Sesh, hold there. Oh, that's a stupid move. That is quite literally the stupidest move I've ever seen. You're putting the, those two there together? Wolven right there. Yeah, that is Wolven right there. That seems silly. It does, doesn't it? <coughs> you're going to run in. I'm hoping you're going to hit there because that's going to be a really bad day for you. You can't get through that slot. Damn.
I've got you. You've got a turn. You're there. Okay, so basically what they've done is they've done it so that when the turn's been taken, their health bar grays out. Right. So I've got this guy and uh, this guy here. And then we can move you, which we're not doing. That's helpful. Uh, it is actually helpful because it tells me which ones have actually moved. Hey, Wolven. Hey, Wolven. Yes, we are being baddies. We're not being baddies. We are actually trying to protect someone from being killed. Against civilians. Which point? They, out, they did outnumber us quite heavily. Fine. And you can't get anywhere, so... I can get you to that person, but I really don't think you want to kind of get involved in that fight. So, we'll put you up here for now. Right. Now they're going to bring in reinforcements. Where are you going? Uh, we're going to have to go through all those people behind us. Because he's going that way. Yep, but he's a dumb, dumb donkey. Yes, he's a dumb donkey. You're right, Red Moogly. He's a dumb freaking donkey. Okay, so we're going to have to disengage there and start running everyone this way. Okay, so he should attack him and then die. <laughs> Hammer does not mess. You're moving now. Great. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put you there, which should stop your pal from moving. Do I want to do that? No, we're not going to. You're going to have to go... Yeah, you can stab there. Brilliant. Great. But that's just bottling you up there. We're quite happy with that. Um... They're back up to 32. Where are the reinforcements coming in? Not sure. Unless it's literally out the houses. I don't know where the reinforcements are coming from. But they've just had another 12 people. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Straight out of the houses. Makes sense. Average I mean, just got a bunch of people put around them. Okay, uh, Wolfen. If you could. That's three in one go. That guy in front hadn't been there, he'd have been a bit further back, he'd be fine.
This thing is, he's running this way, and I don't want him to. But you can't control him. But I can't control him. Why is he moving now? End of turn, you absolute freaking person. Uh, it's going to have to be tech, and I really don't want it to be tech. This is annoying, because he's going to go the wrong way. He's literally going the wrong way. I think we need to start again. He, 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 I don't have an option on him. No, there's no way to... He literally moves him. himself. If we could tell him to duck and hide. You know, if we could do an XCOM. Sit behind there, don't freaking move until I tell you to. That'd be fine. But no, he's fancy. So he's gonna do. He's an ambassador. <laughs> he should sit and eat Ferrero Rocher like the rest of them. Yes, the, the Ferrero Rocher that he'd, uh, you know, arranged them for the party to have. Yeah. Does that makes sense. Remaining reinforcement rounds two. So there's two no more rounds of reinforcements. If we can hold, we can take out everybody. But I don't think. He's going to survive that long because he's an idiot. Yep. Who's running towards the area that's got the most troops. Yep. With the fewest troops, I've got defending because I was like, okay, we're going to take him this way. No, 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 no. I am going that way. Yep. Why? Because I. What happens if we click what? What? I mean, the little thing. Change behavior. Where's that? Down in the hot bar. Change behavior. Nothing. It's flea. You know what? We'll restart the battle. This is a tough one. It's the numbers that are the problem. We can't do... If I had arcadian weapons... We would be killing literally one hit. We've seen Wolven do it. Yep. Multiple times now. Um, we've seen Hammer do it. Multiple yep. times now. Okay. You. Can I change your behavior? Behavior attack. Oh, oh that's worse. Yeah, you defend. You're going to turn them, defend where they are and we'll attack nearby targets. Behavior fleet. So we've only got that. So it's before his turn. We can behave right, okay. We can do that, but it means we're gonna have to still push in with these guys. Um right. The wolves and the bear. We need to figure out what we're gonna do with them. Yeah, we were thinking that before, Wolven. What's that? Around him. We were trying to. But it's gonna we're gonna have to get I mean we could throw all the wolves and the bear around him. That would work. Um, and just have them literally corral him. Because we just need... Like, Wrecker there, Fives there, and Tech there. And he can't move anywhere. We can't move his starting position, can we? Yes. But where you want to move him? There's nowhere else that's more. 
I mean, short of putting him all the way down here, we could do that. And he's out. Just change him to flee. But I think he's like the last person on the thing. You know? I mean, that works though. Or we just got to protect him for that. And Rivalon just goes first. Yeah. I mean, it works. Thanks, Wolven. That's not a bad idea, Wolven. You're a legend. We'll do that. He's just such a pain in the backside. Right. You. Because there's no one down here, apart from her. If we just do that, and then we just do a whole, we're going to kill everybody. Because now they have to go through Rivalon. Which is harder. Yes, it is harder. Okay, so they had 27 at the start. They're down to 26. Kick her in the chest. That's good. Now get all wrathy on it. Excellent. Oh, you did two damage to my armor. You monster. Uh, now it's you. Okay, you're going to attack there. That's absolutely fine. We're not bothered about that. Um, then it's you. You, you, you. They're all spaced out just wide enough so that Wolven can't get a yep a big swing. Um, this is Hammer. Oh, that was a good hit, Mrs. Hammer. That was a damn good hit. Yeah, I know, but I need you. To, I need them to clump up. Clumping is required in order for us to go full ninja warrior on them. Okay, you, you went after Kingpin. You are aware that's a wolf. Are you aware that's a terrible idea? That is the equivalent of going, me and my two mates here are going to go and take on that big guy over there with the mace. <coughs> Why? What's his name again? Wolven. Stupid name. Let's go and kick him in the teeth. Hey, Bob, do you remember when we had that great idea to go and kick Wolven in the teeth? Yeah, just wasn't a good idea. No, it wasn't. Why didn't you tell me that? Charlie, why didn't you say anything? I don't know. I just follow Bob. <laughs> I just follow Bob, yeah. Um, we'll leave that there. You're going to run forward. You're not going to die, but that's fine. I wasn't expecting you to die. I was actually expecting other people to get the, the kill shot in. Um, now, do we keep these guys down here? Or do we push up and around? I think we push up and around. Now we've got 
zippity doo dah down here. Pretty much out of the fight. Yep. Because we still need to get everyone else. We do, but if he's out of the fight, then we can clump our forces together. Yeah. They're civilians. Yeah. They're not going to last long. They're not going to last long. That's very true, it's not. I can put a movie quote in here. I'd want to put in here for th this is a clean, friendly Christian Minecraft channel. What's the quote from? Um, one, not really Christian. Uh, two, wrong game. And uh, three, it's, yeah, it's a channel. I'll give you the third one. Okay. I'm not aware... I okay, know okay, I, I, I know the I know the thing. <laughs> I know the thing. It's when Vinnie Jones is going, um he's got these like I think it's three or four guys and, and they've got like a uh, pointing guns at him, right? And he puts his Desert Eagle fifty cal on the table. And he goes You have a nine millimeter Beretta with the word replica printed down the side. Mine has Desert Eagle point five O not on the side. Which one do you think is going to win? <laughs> it's literally that I don't care that there's four of you and you've got a gun. Hello, mine makes bigger holes. I'm so glad he found a second career. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, what I always like is um, when he did Gone with 60 Seconds with Nicolas Cage, they did this whole kind of thing because oh, it's Vinnie Jones. Doesn't say a lot. He has like one line, but it's Vinny Jones and he's in this film and it's Nicolas Cage and Angelina Jolie and it's a big, high budget thing. And it was like, you know, Nicolas Cage, what's it like working with Vinny Jones? He said, the great thing with Vinny is you never hear from him. He just walks on set and you know he's there. I never understood what people meant with, you know, someone having that kind of presence until I worked with Vinny. It's like, the whole atmosphere just changes, and it's like, oh, yeah, Vinny's here. How can you tell? Trust me. Look, when he was a footballer, he didn't play football. He played ice hockey. He really did. <laughs> but then again, he was part of Wimbledon. They were the crazy gang. They were, I don't want to say dirty. They played... See, for Americans, it's the equivalent of having that kind of high-flying passing offense going up against a smash mouth team you will win possibly not with your first string because they'll all be injured but you'll win but they will literally pound you into the dirt you will come away going you know all those big high flying plays we're not doing them next week why not because i can't walk and the quarterback well he can't make calls why not his jaw's broken and the entire offensive line, yeah, concussions. Yeah, but we won. At what cost? And don't forget, he is a juggernaut. He is a juggernaut. I'm the wrong person to play hide and seek with. <laughs> I'm the juggernaut, you beep. I love that. I mean, it was totally not the right kind of thing to do. The film was not as good as it could have been. Mainly because they took one of the greatest comic book stories in the history of comic books and tried to cram it into a two-hour film. Uh, poorly. Poorly. And I'm not saying that's Hugh Jackman, Famke Janssen, uh, or basically any of them fault it's just you can't do that and they've tried it multiple times since then and it's not worked why hasn't it worked because it has to be multiple films oh it needs to be xcom uh not xcom x-men the gene gray story 
or something like that, but it has to be over multiple films. You can't do it in one. No, or even TV show. Just like The Dark Phoenix. It's a saga, crying out loud. The proof is in the name. All right, where's the next gun? You, so it's you, then you, then you. Okay. Leon, let's give it another go. You're going to poke a bear. Possibly the second dumbest thing I've seen today. The first dumbest thing was when one of the people in the previous attempt at this poked the bear. Okay, you're down. That's good. Uh, I'm not going to hit that last one because we need the point. And you see, Leon's got this friend. It's called a wolf. Lee Jones doesn't really do polite. None of the crazy gang did polite. No. I just remember multiple photos of Vinnie Jones screaming at Gary Lineker. Yeah. And what did Gary Lineker do? Walk away. Yep. And why did yep. Gary Lineker walk away? Because it was the smart thing to do. <laughs> and he was a clever player. He was. He was a poacher, but he was a clever player. Most strikers are. Most strikers are, Red. All joking aside, their job is to put the ball in the back of the net. Done. Nothing else. All right. I want you to set up there. I'm hoping you'll get another guy there or another guy here. And we might be getting a three-way. Am I now Jay Uh-huh. What? Wolven's going to take his mace and slam it through three heads. Oh, that's what you meant. <laughs> what are you all... Th if you guys are thinking dirty thoughts, then that's on you, not me. I'm now Jay Quattro. Quattro, uh, yeah. Yeah. It, 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 well, technically, it would be at that point, yes. Uh, Red Moogle. In there. Stabby McStab face. Thank you very much. All right, we got them down to 22. They started with... So we've taken out five. You should be next, because Mrs. Hammer should be able to take care of that. Menage Quattro. Okay. So, w where in this game is a car? I don't believe we've run into a company called Audi yet. Yep. Hmm? Quattro. I know. It's like Spanish or something, isn't it? It's Italian. It's Italian, okay. <laughs> Not for any no number of new friends for bonking. Okay. This is getting seriously... Wrong. Um, okay, and then she's... Why do you use the word bonking? <laughs> Mighty dragon's up there, but you're going to run in and get shot. They're down to 21. Um, yeah, we kind of need to keep running that way. You guys have both moved. You haven't. Oh, you have. Oh, suddenly do the do does. Um, Trinket's going to have to stay there. Wrecker. Have lunch. You're going to go that way. No, you're going that way. Okay. All right. 
Mighty Dragon, you're gonna go around. You're gonna throw that. Do I go for that? No, I can't. Okay, you're gonna do that. Both of you get poisoned. Then. Which gives you the point back for that, which means then you can attack both of those next turn. Because you're no longer being engaged from the front. You're going to have to come round. You're going to run forward. But you're going to get shot by Avrig. So that's fine. You're not doing bad. Uh, Martinus. Martinus. Decimus Meridius. Well, that was a wasted move, won't it? You mop it. Do it again. Uh, okay. <laughs> Do it again. You're only going to do that damage? Sort of. Make a... A defensive buff instead. Right. Are no, you going that way? Okay, you, you took a hit. You're going to boop there. Fine. But you're still out of range. So that's fine. And you've just lost another half of your health. Excellent. All right. Uh, stabby McStab. Good stab. Good stab. Oh, that was good, Mrs. Hammer. Do that again. That was right on the corner as well. Yes, it was. That was, that was just outside of her uh, attack range. Like literally hitting the line. Yep. Eight six. So, so why don't you have a character in this? I mean, apart from the fact you're hardly ever here to see us play it, you're too busy playing it yourself. What he is? I mean, he. Plays it at the same time as other games. Yeah, I know. And he probably bought it for himself. Yeah, probably. He didn't do that. No. All right. You're moving now. You attacked Wolven. You didn't poke that a bear. Good. You po poked a <coughs> kind of wolfy thing. I just want to point out. Neither of these are good ideas. You scratched his armor. <laughs> that works. Not dead, but fine. Okay, you only did 20 damage to a wolf. I hope you feel very proud of yourself. I think we have a couple of people to name. Yeah, we do. If one of them has a pokey stick, we will name them you. Okay, they started with 27, they're down to 18. This is going much better. Especially if he legs it. Okay, they've got reinforcements. The back up to 32. Wolvern, hi. I'd like you to introduce yourself to this lot. 
<laughs> oh no. I want you to attack there. Brilliant. Okay, so that's taking them back down to 29. Unfortunately, they've still got two loads of reinforcements. So, it's better for us to run than yeah. fight everyone. But we can still push through. Like, they've got all these now, yeah? But Trinket's holding them. Do you name your people? What? Zeus I'm just one, asking. Zeus two, Zeus three. I'll shut up. Down to twenty-eight. We're going to start killing things and getting ourselves down to other locations. Did you just run all the way back around? I mean, fine. If you want to get confused, do it. can break through. <sighs> Basically, Trinket is holding everything together. Stand yourself in the way of the mightiest of dragons. Yep. Okay. Don't question why. But we do. But not for long. is why we want to get Wolven down here as soon as possible to help bolster this line. Um, you're doing next. Okay. Okay, Mrs. Hammer, um, I love the critical hit. Kind of mean. That person literally had just got onto the battlefield and was feeling all good about this day and things. Yep. And now? And now they're dead. Now they're dead. And now they're dead, yes. Uh, right, let's... 
I can't get you through there because the line is blocking the way. Down the twenty two. That's them two dead. Okay, we gotta deal with this. You are next. On the Leon, I want to stab something in the face. That's not good. This is basically clearing out here so we can get down as quickly as possible. And we'll form here. And by forming here, we have a chance of actually causing all sorts of pain and dis just nastiness. Yep. Um... Neither one of you are going to be out. We're going to have to disengage your trinket soon. Although Trinket is confusing the living hell out of that corner there. Go around the back and take the there from the back. I'm sorry. I, are you talking to me? I have a rake or a pitchfork. That's a bear. But Sean's taking the bear on one-on-one -on -one right now. That's because Sean's an idiot. Yeah. And my mama didn't raise no dummy. You're taking on armed people with pitchforks yourself. Yes, she did. I guarantee it. We'll say this. The people with the Arcadian weapons are the ones that are doing all the freaking damage. That's Wooven's next attack. down to 17 from 32. Do 
Shall I move Trinket? Yes. Um, right, so you've got to move, so I want to wait for you to move. You're about to attack, so I want to wait for you to attack all of them, because then you'll be engaged. You've moved. You've got to move. You've got to move. You've got to move. By the way, civilian, I'm sorry, you're dead. Um, and you've got to move. That's fine. I want to wait for you to move, because then I can attack you with Kingpin. Not exactly what I wanted to do, but better than nothing. So many wolves. That's all the new ones. Pin stay there. Now it's all the new people. Yep. You've got to come down. That's fine. And you're going to run into there. That's all right. More reinforcements. Back up to 31. That's a lot of reinforcements down here. Why is there so many reinforcements down here? And we've got you. Okay. Oh, and they've multiplied down here as well. Okay. Bloody rat. Uh... Drink it, move. You're moving first, fine. Who's next? You're next. Well, you, I mean, I'm assuming you can't get around there. engage up here or do I come down here and engage I come down here and engage which I can't do because all the roofs are blocked well now I do Down to 28. Oh, you just decided to stop there. Cool. 
Cool, cool, cool. Um, I think some of them are rethinking their life choices. Because at this moment, they realize they effed up. So what's the plan for getting our people out? This is the plan. This. I've told you. Form at that entrance there. Yeah. And then just bolt. Okay. Disengage, take as much damage as we have to take to get the out. Which is why Trinket was holding there for so long. Took some hits, but it's so we could get our people around here. Yeah. Now Trinket's yeah. here. Hammer, can you make that? No, you can't. You can. You can. Okay. I don't want Averick taking any more damage. It doesn't have to. But one more round of reinforcements coming. You've ran as far as you can. Who's next? You're next. Okay, so I need you to move now. Well, that worked. We can get more people around Rivalon as well. We can galvanize and grab a load of extra points. In the meantime, we'll do that. You're next. Okay, so I really need to move. Stabbed a wolf in the butt. That's not a clever idea. Okay, and then we get you out of there. You're going round the back. Well, that's cheating. Uh, I can get you to there. Let's do that. that one up. Oh yeah, disengaging and taking a strike does trigger a post. It does. It's a very nice little trick if you can use it, but I was I don't like using it often because you can get hit. Yeah. But in this case I had no problem in taking it. Not like the series damage. No. Okay, they're down to 23. We're still at 23. There's a lot of bodies on the floor. There is. So many pitch folks. Yep. No shot there. You're going to go after Red Moogle? Red Moogle did not like that. What? 
Sure, it'd be nice if someone brought the night. I mean, we did. We did. We just we haven't brought them out because we were going to be fighting in an area where there was going to be civilians. Um. Right, dragon. Keep pushing that way. So yeah, so we're moving down, right? And basically sweeping out anything that happens to be in our way at the time. Yeah. The reason we're doing that is so that we can get all our troops in one place. Because I don't care how many civilians you've got, a well-trained army, which is, let's face it, what we are, with um, K9 forces. <laughs> and Ursine. And Ursine. Um, like, you know, with, you know, armor and stuff like that against civilians with pitchforks. Oh, yeah, no, it's a massacre. Can't make it there, but you can make it there. Um, you've not uh, done anything yet. What? I don't like to use the M word, Red. We call it special police operation. Special police operation. Special tactics and recon. <laughs> that resi. No. That's special tactics and rescue. Oh, okay. Stars. You can get out, can you? That's that Arcadian bow. It's freaking lethal. Okay, just those three. That's all we've got. So, yep. next, it's getting this group here and these guys down as far as we can. Yeah. We've got one more load of reinforcements coming in. Which is absolutely fine. You, there... Last time, it topped it up to 31. Yep. From 1819. Yep. But it's going back up to 31, 32 for each. Yeah. Time, so I'm expecting something very similar. It's more their distribution that's the issue. Okay, now it's this lot round here. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we've been going for an hour and a quarter on this one freaking mission. Granted, we started it again, but still. Yeah. They're down to 15. They went up back to 30. They got 15 reinforcements for that one thing. <laughs> okay, where are all the bad guys? We have them behind us. So many behind us. Vibes. Yep, that's what my opponent went. That's the last of the reinforcements. So that's the last of the reinforcements. You're not going to move again, so we're going to use that on you. And then we're going to move you up there. Introduce you to the concentrated hate that is literally pulsing through these knuckle things of uh, Leon. Go, don't hurt our doggy. Yeah. No. Wolven, I don't think the barrels were explosive. I wish they were, because there were so many around them, but I don't think they are. I think they're just destructible. Like, if you fire an arrow into it, it'll just go bonk. Wait, damn it. I've not seen any gunpowder in this. Well, no, of course you wouldn't. So, it seems unlikely that they're going to go boom. But yeah, we won't be getting any more reinforcements. That's fine. I'm not going to attack you now. Who's next? You're next. That's an issue. All right. Uh, we're on fallback. think they're going to attack Kingpin. Yep. Oh, are you going for there, are you? They've both moved, so it's just you two I have to worry about back there now. Rivalon's covering this. And Rivalon gets pretty much constant kills with that thing, so... I mean, you can see the damage that Rivalon has done. Yes. Why is that? Each time one of your units kills an enemy, they deal extra damage for the duration of the fight. Stackable. Currently 12%. Oh boy. <laughs> um, do I want Moogle to go in and try and get a kill off there? I think we do. But... In the meantime, round the back, please drink it. I want you to turn to them and say, give me Paul. <laughs> if we can clear our back, I'd really like to pull, make a choke point out here with all the archers. <laughs> You're mean. Come on. 
I double dog dare you to walk through that path. No, no, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> Enemy won't live that long. I think you might be right. Um, right. I think we run Martinus back down here as fast as possible. Well, they finally got that choke point filled out. Yep. Right, you just hold butt. Hammer's got this. You're going to go after Red Moogle. <laughs> and then Red Moogle's going to move down that way, which takes that civilian out of the fight. As soon as the guy who's engaged with Hammer attacks, he's going to die. So we don't have to worry about those lot anymore. In the meantime, we just keep pulling our people back. Our main focus is this group here, which seems to be being very slow, and this lot down here, because Rivalon doesn't have another turn, and I think you've already taken out couple in there already, which means you've probably only got one more hit. So they're going to break through here. Not all the way in. We should be able to make our way in there and have some fun. Mainly with Wolven going in there. Yeah, you're stuck, aren't you? Okay, Wolven, I want you there. That is a smart civilian. We're charging. Okay, I'll take a couple of steps forward. I'm doing I'm doing it. I'm joining in. Yeah, I'm doing the moral support bit. I'm the morale officer. Whatever one of them is. Sesh. Actually, no. Kingpin. Okay, I was kind of hoping you'd get that, but you'll you'll get the kill anyway. You're at the back of the crowd. Do not overtake the crowd unless there's something chasing you. It, that reminds me of the uh, the Billy Connolly joke. Which one? Two photographers on the Serengeti. Pride Alliance. The, the, the alpha lion kind of race so it looks right that roars when well, the camera puts his camera down undoes his boots out comes out a brand new pair of white Nike trainers the other one looks at him and goes you'll never outrun a lion with those click screw the lion as long as I outrun you I'm fine <laughs> It is cheeky to go out of bounds, but in theory, the green bit isn't really there. No, it's just where we need to get to get us out of there. Yep. Um, that's not going to do a whole lot of damage to her, so I'm going to hold off on that. Billy is a treasure. My family is from the same district. Of Glasgow, or half my family is from the same district of Glasgow, um, where he was born, Anderson, and uh, it basically, if you're born or raised from that kind of area, he's unofficially part of your family. <laughs> <laughs> and the best part about it is, my mum is literally like listening to all these stories that he tells in this comic way of 
life growing up in Glasgow back then. And she's going, the great right part about it is, it's all true. Uh, right. Mighty Dragon. I'm going to bring you down to help out down here as well. I don't think we're going to need you to do much. You know what? No. We're going to have you just wait in this kind of area to reinforce these guys. Because let's face it, some of them are a bit on the slow side. Through no fault of their own. Okay, shouldn't have had Wolven stand so far forward, but that's fine. Uh, Floor, can you get into striking range? No. You can get there. Which means you can hurt that one. Probably should have gone for that civilian, but it's fine. Eh, get them next time. Yep. Yeah, knew that was going to happen. Fall back, puppies. Can't believe we've actually made it like this. This is... After the first round, it just was not going well. Ooh. But you figured it out. Hmm. Hello, you've got that kill on the next one. Actually, no, we're not going to put you in there. Change my mind. We're not doing that to you. Beautiful. Other than that one, we're clear. Then it's just here, where they've got all this slot. Cody, stay there. Bye. You're not going to get much, but you'll get a hit. Nice. You're going around the back, are you? Okay. Did you hear that growl? Did. Grumpy. Yeah, I don't blame him. I'll be grumpy. Oh, you're just going to stop there? Okay. Alright. One down. Did that go up? No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Okay. Um, should I run Armand out? Or hold? Or hold. 
old. old. See if you can get the wolves out. Because mm. the wolves are taking up space and more worried about them than anything else, aren't we? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Uh, no, there's uh, too many people blocking the way. I did not mean to do that. Is that going to be in? I think the block has to be fully in the green. Okay, well, I'm going to move you over there anyway. Down to 18. Damn, that guy's blocking. And he can't reach. Alright, we'll do that. Down. Two down. You're still at the back, so good for you. Uh, let's move you around. I thought that person was standing on top of the cage then. <laughs> really? Yeah, looked like it. Perspective sucks sometimes, doesn't it? It does. Uh, let's move you around the back. And ask your question. And we're going to pull Kingpin back after Kingpin has bitten that guy's leg off. See? Our wolves are like human blood. Delicious. Mm -hmm. I am assuming Kingpin got out. No, Kingpin's still there. Huh. Is there a 
option after that. I don't know whether it's they have to clear out the evac zone or something. Oh, that might be it. I think so, yeah. After the end of the turn, maybe. Maybe it's after the end of the turn, we don't know. Down to 12. Uh, what's this say? When companion reaches this area, use their flea skill to leave the battlefield. Okay. They're still in, so we can fight in this area. Yeah. Oh, that's fair enough. Uh, right, so it's just this guy down here. Everyone else around here is one of these bodies. This lot. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... Apparently there's 12. Where's the other two? Eleven. Ah, 12. Ah, flee. Um, okay. Mighty Dragon, run up to there. Oh, you're not going to be able to get much in there, so we'll put you to there. Okay, so there's two on the back side and the rest of them are all up here. Yeah. Which does beg the question... Do we go Starship Troopers on this? Take everything out? Well, then help Red Nuggle out with what I mean here, will you? Please. <laughs> we already have boss, might as well finish the job. Yes, but could you explain to Red Moogle what I mean by go all Starship Troopers on this? No. Oh, no, Wolven doesn't understand. The world is coming to an end. Wolven doesn't understand. Me and Wolven have no longer have the mental link thing about translation. Get in there and kill them all. I don't think we need to. It's just going to cause more damage to our armor. Oh, from Buenos Aires. Yes. <laughs> They're coming to us, though. Yes, they are. So we're going to fall back, but I'm saying kill them all. We'll send all the wolves out and the bear. But, you know... Basically, create a battle line and just go. Come on. You know you want to. You have to kill the ambassador who's already escaped. And you're coming in, instead of like a battle line, you're coming in just to like a few people at a time. You may not want to, but you're going to. That's exactly right. I may not want to do it, but I'm going to. I'm a good news. Yes. That's exactly what I was thinking, Red Moogle.
swivel on, standing in the bodies of his victims. <laughs> what are you saying? You saying that Rivalon likes killing people? I'm Selene. He's collecting his arrows. He's collecting his arrows. You're damn right. I fired a lot of arrows today. All right, we're gonna go and finish them all off and then run back because I don't think the mission ends when you kill everyone. I haven't actually done it before, so I don't know. Reach the escape area and get your companions to flee. That is the objective. Okay, the objective is to do that. Yes, you are absolutely correct, Red Moogle. It's gotten dark. Yes, it has, because we've been here for so long. You can only use one base action per turn. Okay, so you can't do that. You can, though. But if we kill everyone... Surely that means it's gotten dark because we're the second highest cause of death in the city right after the plague. <laughs> we go much longer, we're taking that top spot. You damn right we are. And away. We have the numerical advantage now. We won't, because we're fleeing, so we're not going to get loot. And it's pitchforks. Do you have any idea how, like, expensive and important good farming tools are? I don't think the people of this city are going to take... Fine, the... I'll send Mrs. Hammer away then. Okay. And Wrecker. Hunter's gone. Down to seven. Going in piecemeal. You mean pieces? Yeah, that as well. The six. All right. Uh, Vibes, get out. Um, who do we send out then? Sash. Armand. Rivalon can't, because Rivalon's too busy standing in the ashes of human life that he's created. What? 
Spawn has literally yep. done that. Five left. Four left. Okay, the rest of the team will get out, all right? Yeah. There's no point in the rest of the team being out. Got one pinned down. Get over here. Okay. Kind of wondering why it's only one we've got pinned down, but yeah, all right. Okay. R Rivalon's leaving. He's killed enough people today. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> no, his ears are still itching. Alvin, creating more films. I'm not pinned here with you. You're pinned here with me. That's very true. Actually, uh, go a little bit further. Go like there. Down to one. Okay, Trinket, time to go home. Outcome. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's more the fact we've we've got one pinned. Okay, round three, they sent in 15. Yeah. We could probably go back and find out how many people we've actually killed in this fight. Do we want to know? Yeah. One moment. Because it depends on how many people they've sent in each round, you know? <laughs> okay repair roll okay red we didn't get anything out of that fight no i know like 21 cloth to salt 11 11 pitch pitch. okay we did 
Um, we got uh, a silver brooch. 47 corpses. <laughs> That's a little low. It is past 50. It is way past 50 because they started with 32. Oh, they started with 27, did they? I know it went up to 32. I think they gained 10. It's really depressing, but I want to know. <laughs> I know the last round we went down to 15 and then they got another 15. Now, I don't... Oh, don't worry, Wolverine. We will be running. Like, mm, just... Pedal to the metal. Flat out. We're going to be actually flat out to get out of here, because really, we don't want to have another fight. But the thing was, the last fight, they... Uh, well, they came straight at us. No. Oh, that's fine. Take your time, sweetie. Thing is, they had reinforcements each turn for the first three turns. Um, we don't know how many that was, except for the last one where we know we got 15 reinforcements because we had 15 left at the end of the second round of combat and then they went up to 30 so we know there's another 15 came in there but what happened in round two the starting number round one's reinforcements i just with how many people we took out 47 feels a little low yeah total number are you sitting down you are good yeah Seventy-one. <laughs> Seventy-one. Seventy-one civilians. All right, run. We are flat out trying to find where. Where are we going again? That was a lot of work, babe. That was. No, I want to. We went outside the city. I didn't mean to do that. I want to go there. Do we actually want to go this way? Or we can sneak around the outside of the city. Let's sneak around the outside of the city. Because that's where we're going. Is the ambassador safe? Yeah, give us the stuff. Everyone else is dead, Perfect. but yeah. You've done well, mercenaries. Here is your reward for having stopped the mob from lynching the ambassador. 110 crowns. That's less than two crowns. Multiply that by freaking 10. We will question the ambassador about Willa's murder. If he is innocent, we will help him to return. 
You absolute. The interrogation may last a while, but I much prefer facing the guard than the fate that the crowd have in store for me. Oh, that's just. Thank you for bringing me to safety. I will be sure to mention this to the King of Alazar. What, and get us a free pass or something? <laughs> okay. Well, that was a thing. That was a whole thing. We're exhausted. <laughs> he paying. Well, we've got some... We may as well go and deal with them. We need a, a night's kip anyway, so let's get back out of town. We'll go and deal with them guys up there. That should be easy. We've got a rat's nest up there. We've got to pay the troops. Rat's nest there. Uh, well, it seems like local authorities aren't acquainted with the concept of F you pay me. Yeah, I know. I'm rather depressed about that, but it's fine. It's fine. What I am a little bit worried about is the fact that uh, we've still got to get up the edge of the maps here and find everything because we're missing four locations. Yes. All right, let's get ourselves out. We've got 17 days of food, so we can get out onto the, the hills and dales and... I'd love one, please, Red. Uh, not that way. We need to go this way. Right, let's uh, everyone take a seat and take a sleep. Hey, we got out of there in one piece. That's got to be worth something. Oh, one of our horses has gone up. Well, we're closing in on 900 carry capacity, which is nice. Uh, how are you doing over here? You, you've got that. Okay, fair enough. Right, let's uh, throw together some lovely... And pay everyone. Of course we will. Well, of course we'll pay everyone. Wow, we're actually running out of food. We might want to get ourselves... Some more ingredients so we can make some more delicious food. Uh, okay, so we've got that. Let's have a look at you. Okay, combat is up uh, again. Okay. Good deals. Excellent. Archaeologist gets us five. We need to get around and do this. We really do. All right, so everyone's chilled, everyone's rested. Floor only hit me because I was in the way. I'm sure she didn't do it on purpose. But all seeing eye, she tried to kill me. Drink to calm down. We'll do that. Uses a bit of influence, but who cares? All right, there's the people we want to kill. I mean, capture. I mean... No, I mean kill. I mean, we could capture them, to be honest with you. Hand them into the guard tower or whatever, but... I don't know if I can bother We need the cash. We are in need of the cash. Leader's willpower. Who's your leader? Is that your leader?
Yep, that worked. Alright, let's uh, move you back so you don't get pummeled. Who's next? You're next. Well, you're in a bit of a bad position, my friend. So, uh, we're going to introduce you to Wolven. Didn't like take out three wolven, but two is pretty good considering the fact they were there. some of the heaviest armored ones we've got there. Beautiful. We'll stop there. Boom. Okay. Drink it. That's not nice. Okay. Introduce. Ball. tied down you probably get damage in but that's about it yeah 
press it. And we got another one down here, okay, so... You're out there, Red. You bring tea. Thank you, Red. Nice. Nope, they are mercenaries. Oh, no, we're mercenaries. They're not mercenaries. We're mercenaries. Which leaves these guys down here. Beautiful. Two left. That's done. <sighs> oh, we don't have enough raw materials. Go to visit a forge. Yep. All right, let's get. That's been a long time since we've run out of more materials. And I did say something a few episodes ago about us needing more raw materials, and Red Moogle said something. What was it? We make them in camp, which we did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to fight you guys. I really don't. Yeah, we make two per night, Red. Okay, that's not enough. Basically, we need to sell some stuff. Uh, we need to buy some repair things. I don't know what's going on at the Hovendort mine. I haven't received any ore in days. This cannot be allowed to continue. Now that's a job well done. 
Okay, everything's been repaired. Uh, right, so we're going to sell you. Uh, we'll sell that rare map for hunting because it's not actually useful to us now. Um, we're not going to use them, so we'll sell them. Oh, we've got to put the brewing vat down. Have we built another brewing vat? Herald of the Eye. <clears throat> What's the ice arrow skill? Uh, I'm not going to stop and find out, Red, unfortunately. Because I want to sell stuff, get some money, so we can pick up something better down the line. Alright, I think that's it. Okay. I don't know why that's here. Is that a skill then? Okay, so we've just picked up 20 repair tools. Yep. And we've repaired our stuff. Yeah. Indeed. Might you be looking for work? Yep. Here is your reward. Might we be looking for a place to kip? You're the ones who got my cousin across the border. Yes, we did. Now, give us some... A beautiful songs. Play that same song. So, I'm guessing we should probably go back to one of the easier areas and try and do that, uh, taking people on with nothing but our bare fists. Okay. Uh, because let's face it, we can do that. Oh, yeah. Also, I've just put my fingerprints on my glasses. Do you need a wipe? Yeah. Thanks, Red. Hey, Leon. Hey, Leon. Oh, while we're here, babe. Yes. See if there's a pointy stick person. Yeah. That we can rename for Zeus. We have a pointy stick person we can rename for Zeus. Yes, Leon. You're still alive. You're still alive, Leon. You, you are doing fabulously well. We're just wanting you to level up to level 11 so we can give you some upgraded weapons. Because you're actually doing very well on the old damage front, but your weapons are the tier below. You're the ones who got my cousin across the border. Bye, Gerald. Okay, out the door. Um... Broker Hovendorp taking my potions, she wouldn't be dead. Believe me. Take all them. Is there anything red can make? Weeding potion? No. Don't need that anymore. Sword remedy? No, we'll leave it. Alright, map. Broker 
Berna needs new champions to have any chance of winning the Arena Clash. Dot Mana. Rick's son disappeared on the night of his mother's murder. So we're to go and find the son, no doubt. Okay. Um, and burglar. Well, let's go deal with the burglars. What do you say? I don't know where the burglars are. Oh, we, we passed them. Apparently it's these guys. Them? Say whatever you want, mercenaries. But we won't surrender. Our children and elders are counting on us to put food on the table. We didn't become thieves for oh, fun, okay. you know. If we had enough money to feed our families, we wouldn't steal from the rich. Oh, they're Robin Hood. Can we give him some cash? Give him some bread. That works. For us, I don't know what to say. No one has ever helped us before. We're very grateful, even though it won't keep us fed for long. But at least it gives us time to look for honest work. Take this. I hope we won't need it again. Cool. Yay. We didn't have to kill someone. Isn't that just make you feel a little warm and fuzzy inside, guys? It does. Negotiate. Not fighting people right now. Yeah, you know, the characters from my name tend to get relatively lucky on the damage front. I have no idea. I didn't know that. Might you be looking for work? Here is your reward. All right. Have you got any? What do we call it? Tools. I don't know supply. what's going on at the Hogan no. Mine. No, okay. I haven't received. No, we don't. Okay. Um. Right. In which case, let's do the Hoven Dort Manor. Okay, let's talk to people. I'm sorry, but you cannot go upstairs without Lady Malvina's permission. Right. You know we're mercenaries, right? And we really don't care. Clues. Yes. I must find clues. Uh-huh. I am responsible for Lady Malvina's security. Great. Lyderick Old Hovendorp must be questioned. If only Lady Malvina could remember where she saw her brother last. She can't remember where she saw her brother last? My mother was murdered, and my brother didn't even turn up. I don't know where that loafer is, but I hope for his sake that he wasn't involved. Find Lyderick. And I will give you a fitting reward, mercenaries. So the idea is where he is, love. Hardly fitting. 125 crowns and a sapphire. I don't know where he's disappeared to or when he went missing, but I have told the help not to touch his room. It's upstairs. Feel free to take a look. Maybe he left some clues. I've been Lady Malvina's personal body. That's great. 
Okay. It is time to inspect a thing of value in this box. We can take it, we can sell it. Um, inspect. We'll take them. Inspect. This morning box is sealed with a puzzle mechanism. Oh, beep. It's a slidey puzzle. Oh, okay. Box contains a number of soppy letters written between Lydric or Hovendrop and a juggler named Adelise. The last letter refers to a tryst on Artist Square. Aww. Yep, he's a loaf, all right. Library filled with books and transcriptions of plays. A poetry book, yes. We'll just borrow all this. We will not sell anything. All right, uh, so we need to go back to the map. Um, where's the artist square? Anyone know where the artist square is? Oh, there. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, I didn't mean to go there. to congratulate us on our performance. Let's take part in the Brotherhood Investigation to question this person. Fine people of Gothenburg. Yeah, we're, we're not going to watch that more. Art lovers, are you? You're not alone. Okay. We know he's here. Yeah, unless I've kidnapped him. To congratulate us on our performance. Uh, I'm confused. Do we need to go to the Brotherhood? I think we need to go to the Brotherhood, but meet at least in Artist Square. We're doing the, the investigation, are we? Oh, well, we can't talk to it yet. Okay, so we have to go back to them and actually take part. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Fine. I, I don't mind having my time wasted walking to somewhere that I don't need to be or anything like that. It's perfectly fine. Unless you want me to Google. No, we'll may as well do that because we haven't done it yet. We actually should go and have a look at them. Oh, that would be slaves who have earned their freedom in some way. Well, oh, no, I have to go that way. Do, do. 
Came up along the road. It's really bad, Red. We're down to 15 days food. Aye. Either need to go some shopping or do some hunting. Yeah, no. We should probably go sh fishing because we, we do need to do some fishing. We do need to do some exploring as well. Yes. You've still got places to find. Still got places to find, people to meet. All right, how are we doing on the map? Oh. There. The Brotherhood Fortress. There's a fortress, you know. Brothers and arms listening carefully. Most of seem to have come from far away. Most of them listening to the speech over and over. You should listen to what he has to say first. Okay, what about you? It would be advisable for you to train more before taking on this investigation. Competition between the companies will be fierce. <laughs> Okay, um, upgrade? Oh, we can upgrade weapons. It would be advisable for you to train... How about just steal everything? On this investigation. Competition <laughs> between the companies will be fear. All right, let's listen to him. Mercenaries, members of the Brotherhood, thank you for heeding our call in such numbers. We will need all the help we can get for this mission. Okay, what's the mission? The Broker Council has asked us to track down who murdered one of their own, Willa Ald Hovendorp. We know her. Brother is dead? Good riddance. Shut up! We can't hear anything! <clears throat> All those who wish to be involved in this investigation are welcome. The reward will be commensurate with that of a mission offered by the Council itself. Fourteen shillings and sixpence? Well, it's tempting. Granny will register all companies who wish to take part. A word of warning. This mission is not for the faint-hearted. The body of Broker Willa Old Hovendorp was not the only one found in the alley. There were also around a dozen of our brothers who had been tasked with her protection. The assailants left without a trace, but we do know that they were well organized and outnumbered our men. They were probably bandits, rebels, or mercenaries, perhaps. Ooh. So, are you still interested? I mean, I suppose. Yeah? It wasn't us, was it? Um, I'm fairly sure I haven't killed someone with Brotherhood Escort. Very well. Your company is now registered. The residents of Gosenberg will answer any queries. So remember to question them. Some may be reluctant to confide in you, but persevere, and you will find a way to convince them. Good luck. Okay. That's our first three point for the Prey of Grimmere, so I'm guessing now we can get some information? Yeah. A bit weird that they opened that mission before you've spoken to the... It is a little strange. But, you yeah, know, fine. Uh, let's have a quick camp. Eat some food. You want to go fishing? Uh, we'll do fishing after we've camped. We're kind of... You know? Uh, let's do that. I like the... Yeah. Blind wolves. W just keeping watch. Yeah, I don't know where my... thing has gone. My brewing thing. It was weirdly. No, I just put it out on the. And now it's disappeared. And now it's disappeared. It's just gone. No clue.
Oh, I found it. Too late? Yep, it's up here. Okay. Uh, so now we have to put in a brewer, someone who can brew. <gasps> oh no. Colic. Again? Yep. So now we need a brewer. We can do brandy. We need three cherries to do brandy. Yep. And we Go need brandy. and we need somebody to be a brewer. So what does being a brewer entail? Preferably someone who Okay, so willpower. A brewer, constitution, so extra health. That makes sense. I was gonna say, I could do it. No, you can't. But I'm a master. You're a master. And I need alchemist for decks. Yes, you do. Okay, so now we need cherries. We need cherries, Red. I mean, if we find any. Okay, so now we can follow this road and ignore the wolves because we don't want to deal with the wolves do we not really oh my god it's half ten already yep hence why I was suggesting fishing now alright Doing everything I can to avoid fights because I want to get more bits. Yeah. Rather than um get our weapons and armor constantly repaired for a very small amount, I have to admit. But yeah, but still. Okay, let's talk to her. You wish to congratulate us on our performance? No. Lyderick, you're looking for him? Yes. I'll do anything to help you find my beloved. Ask me whatever you want. The last time I saw him was the night his mother was murdered. He forgot to take his hat. Perhaps some animal could follow his scent. Okay, where's his hat? Of no, Citizen. not you. Look, 
Uh, an animal can be used to sniff out, sniff out, because we have... Oh, we have Hunter. <laughs> we do. But I'm going to go with Alpha, uh, with Kingpin, because our best wolf. The trusted companion has lead. Moogle is literally being a wolf right now. Is he in that caravan? No. I did not want to go in there. This is different than following a blood trail, thank God. It is. Uh, I think he's in there. <laughs> yeah, I think he's in there. Wait, isn't that their house? No. Oh, oh. Are you missing something? Go on. I won't judge. Uh, we're okay, thanks. Why do you have handcuffs here? I know why. <laughs> Actually, no, we can talk to you. Are you missing? I can put up with a lot, but being a key... Are you looking for someone in particular? Murder? How would I know anything about... Are you quite finished harassing my... We're friend? honest workers. We I pay the Brotherhood good money for protection. This way, mercenaries. Can't you say no one wants to answer your wretched questions? <sighs> what do you think? I think he's in here. Do you think we fight? I guess you're thinking you have a choice. Yeah. We have a job to do. It involves kicking your butt. Oh dear, what a pee, never mind. Well, at least we're taking it outside. Put a hammer up here. We've got more numbers up there. All right. First things first. Let's into in, in, let's start smacking you. Okay, that's that. Although, let's. Oh. And do that. That's not exactly good. Mm, go 
for the easy guy, or no, we'll go for you two. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Okay, you two. I'll take care of that next turn. They've got blackout on everything. That could be really annoying. Well, Vern, I don't like this guy. Can you uh, do something about him, please? Hate Wolven, probably. Ah, uh, I can't move anywhere. Okay. So I can't do the weakening blow, which is annoying, but he's going to attack Wolven, so that's fine. Because it'd be an idiot to attack anyone else. you pause that was great <laughs> that was really good red that was really really good i like that <laughs> my foot is itching like crazy and i've got no idea why <laughs> you know what it might be oh no you have because you haven't put your shoes on all day. Nah, I've got them on now because my feet were cold. You're not going nowhere, buddy. Uh oh. The game suddenly went, I'm going to think about it. Please don't crash, Greg. It's only a quarter of an hour left. Yep. Game crashing on final enemy. No! It's not allowed to do that. We checked. 
They've got a lot of people here who are really freaking annoying. Not expecting Sasha to do that, but really happy that she did. He did. Whatever. Okay. Doing well. Doing well. Um, right. Anytime soon, buddy. on with the crit hits. Highly sure what you can do. It's not much because you're too far away, but I split the point. Get you in the fight. Interesting. You were able to fire a bow from close range. That's impressive. Right. Trinket. Making pause. You're going to keep that on the. Yeah, it's, it's you. your own fault. You started it. Nope. 
you miss. You freaking missed. because we haven't updated our um, Twitch points for two years. So they're all out of date yep. and not working. Why is my three minute word ban going? Yeah, because we've got so much else going on. We've moved away from Twitch for a long, long time. Honestly. That, that would be a uh, hammer saying no. Which means it's only this guy back here now. can't get close enough, so... I think you should be able to get a range on this. Yep. <laughs> yeah, when I... Started the attack, it was um, wasn't expecting them to be needing. What have points. you done to my security? What do you want from us? We don't know anything about a murder. Lyderick, you've done this for him. You shouldn't have gone to all that trouble. The fool isn't worth it. He was here when his broker of a mother died. Then, some bandits came and took him away. I'm not sure what they were talking about, but they mentioned crowns. A lot of crowns. Go and find those bandits. Some of my friends know where they hide out. Okay. See? You could have just told us that. Are you missing something? Go on. <laughs> Lyderick, bandits. I'd rather... Okay, you rather not get involved. You see, I'm okay with that. The other trackers think that I mustn't ruin my war paint or they'll suspect something. Sorry, I don't work here. Okay. Well, well. Mercenaries. I wanted to be a mercenary too, but working here pays much better. Yeah, there's also not the long hours of travel on the road and not being paid. I've seen bandits prowling around the university to rob defenseless scholars. They're particularly devious, so don't underestimate them. Thank you. Are you looking for someone in particular? Or are you a well-known hideout near Burner's Arena? 
These bandits are very aggressive. Real killers. Okay. okay, thank you very much. Appreciate that. You're all weird. Thanks, guys. Um, right, I'm going to go back to the forge. Right, question. Yep. Do we want to call it there? I think we should. Because otherwise we're going to get into another fight. Stand back, peasants. These valuable commodities are only for those who can afford them. You have shinies. You have shinies. We want them. And wood. Um, I'll take the meat and the milk and the cured meat. I'll leave the rest. I don't need the uh, rhyme steel anymore. But I do need a shop to sell some stuff. So yeah, we'll get ourselves back to the uh What's going on at the Hovendorp mine? Yoink. I haven't received any ore in days. This cannot be allowed to continue. Really? You think? Okay. Would you like to buy some stuff? This hasn't been this, this empty in so long. With these ore supply problems, Broker Burner wants me to renew all his fighters' equipment. So I've work to do, and suppliers to chase up. Okay. Alright. It's not the best place, but we're gonna have a little nap. Once you got my cousin across the border. Rest. Bye, Jerry. <laughs> Now Broker Hovendorp is dead, I don't know who will pay her son's debts. Just in my joint, his tab's a mile long. Think I should worry. Huh. I would, mate. I would worry very, very hard. All right, that's where we're going to call it for today. Because uh, we've got three minutes until the end of the stream. Uh, what, what's uh, this week? We've got no component cast this week, have we? No. No members stream this week. So the next time will be Friday, where we're playing Starship Troopers Extermination because they've had a big update. We want to see what's going on. I know yeah. there's not a lot of people playing it right now. And that's fine. It's early access, and you know people played a lot to begin with. Um, but they didn't do a lot of it like expansion or updates or anything like that. But they've done a, a like an 8 gigabyte update. So it's time to go in and have a look, see what's changed. Um, and then we've got MechWarrior 5. We're starting the whole thing over again. And we're taking off the over tonnage limit mod so that we have to stick to the tonnage of the fights that we've got. Yeah. Um... But I have lots of extra bits and pieces that we can do because we're going to keep all the shops and everything. Space Amazon is still going to be there. So we can get some really fancy light max. Yes. And medium max. Oh yeah, we're we're going to go completely nuts on you know. Oh look, we've got this brand new javelin with clan tech. Don't ask us how we got it. Don't ask us how we got hold of stuff that we surely should not have. But we did. Um, and, oh, look, we're doing this mission with this amazing thing we've just put on it. That kind of stuff. Right, we could just turn the leopard on the leopard upgrade system. We can do that as well. We will do all sorts of stuff. 
Um, I know it's part of the ammo thing, and we haven't done it before, but why not? We'll have some fun with it. Um, and that's basically because MechWarrior Clan is coming soon, so we want to give that a go. Um, and then more War Tales. We survived. We left. Yeah, a, we, did. we left a trail of bodies in that wake, but we yeah, survived. We <laughs> but anyway, that's it for today. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll be back next week. Until then, you lot take care of yourselves. We'll see you there. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.